Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today I really wanted to film a drugstore makeup tutorial that was full glam, smoky, and just really sultry because I haven't done a look like this in so long and I just love, love smoky eyes. And I feel like they're kind of a little bit challenging for most people and most people don't really know how to actually create one without getting a black eye or getting way too much black on their eye. So I wanted to kind of do this tutorial to show you guys how I like to do them. I do like them very intense and very smoky, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and all the steps I included to create a smoky eye using affordable products from the drugstore. All these products wowed me. They're amazing, especially the shadow. It's super sparkly. Be sure to let me know down below what you thought of this look. Like this video if you do enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't and become a part of my family. And I just wanted to say we have so many new family members here that I've noticed in the last week. I wanted to say hi to you guys and thank you for joining my fam. It's super exciting. I can't wait to keep growing this family that we have. And yeah, so if you guys like drugstore makeup, thumbs this video up and let me know. Comment down below if you want me to do more drugstore tutorials if you enjoy them because I would be happy to them for you guys. Alright beauties, so if you guys would like to know how to get this drugstore makeup look that's really smoky, dark, and really sultry, then please continue on watching. Alright, so first we're going to prime our skin and I'm going to use the Magic Lumi Primer by L'Oreal. This reminds me a lot of the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and it's very hydrating, very luminous, and looks really nice under foundation. And you just want to take about a pump of this because a pump is just enough and you can warm it up in the palm of your hand to make it nice and warm. And then just apply it to your face. And it gives you a really nice luminous type of glow. It's so pretty. Alright, so jumping into foundation, I'm going to use one of my favorite drugstore foundations ever and this is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. Foundation. There's not many foundations at the drugstore that are this full coverage and have benefits So this will fight acne if you do get breakouts This will protect your skin from breaking out and this coverage is amazing I'm also using an elf beauty blender and this is a part of the elf trio So it has three different sizes. This is the large one and I love this beauty blender so much because it's a lot bigger than an actual beauty blender and it's really soft and overall, I just really love the way it blends foundation. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, and this is in the shade Ivory. And this is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I just love the coverage and I love the finish of it. So I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. And what I really like about this concealer is even though I really caked this on, it doesn't look cakey, so that's something I really love about it. So now I'm going to set my face using my favorite drugstore setting powder, and this is the Cody Airspun Powder in Naturally Neutral. This comes in a few different shades, but if you get Naturally Neutral, this one's great for setting under your eyes because it is brightening. And when I got this, this was full to the top, and now I've kind of made a little bit of a dent in it. But it lasts so long, so if you get this, this will not run out on you. You're going to use this for a while. And I love the way it smells. It smells so good. I'm just in love with the way it smells. So I like to take it on a sponge, and I like to dip it into the powder. I actually took the top of this off, so I could dip right into it, and I just take it like this and apply it underneath my eyes. And all I do is just press this into my skin. So I don't really let it bake. I just press it right in. And you can actually take the excess that's on the sponge and just press this all around your face to set your entire face. Now to fill in my eyebrows, I'm gonna use a product that isn't actually meant for your eyebrows, but it works just as good. This is a cream eyeliner by e.l.f. and this is in coffee. So it is a brown color, it's about a dark brown. I don't really find it to be very warm, it's just perfect for your eyebrows, and if you love dip brow, this is a great drugstore alternative, and the consistency is pretty much the exact same compared to a dip brow. So what I like to do is just comb through my brows first and comb them into place so I can fill them in really evenly. And because we're going for more like a glam look today, I'm gonna use the concealer to clean up the brows. And I just like to take this underneath the brows and blend it out with a brush. And if you do mess up on your brows or your lines aren't perfect, you can just always go in with the concealer to clean up anything. So now to set the brows in place all day long because my hairs can kind of get a little bit out of control and they can shift all around. So using a gel is really great for kind of slicking them back and holding them in place all day. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in medium to dark. And I'm just going to comb it through the hairs of my brows 
and this will set them in place all day. All right, so now that we have our brows on and our faces on, let's move on to the eye look. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you create your smoky eye is lay down a base. So I'm gonna use the concealer I used under my eyes to prep my lids. And you don't wanna over apply this, so just add a little tiny bit and that should be enough. So when creating a smoky eye, I always like to start on the lid and work upwards into the crease. So first we're gonna lay down a dark base. I'm using this e.l.f. liner in Shadow Stick and I'm gonna use the liner to kind of draw onto my lid. Now you're gonna wanna use something that can smudge easily and I do feel like this liner is pretty smudgy. So you're just gonna wanna lay this down right onto the lid first. And this is gonna look super messy, like it's not gonna look good at all, but you want it to look like this first and then do all your blending next. And I would not drag this into the crease, I would just leave it right on the lid first. So next I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow by L'Oreal and this is the Infallible Eternal Black Shadow. And taking this with a small brush, I'm gonna start packing this onto the lid. So you just wanna pack this right on. And this black is gorgeous, it has sparkles in it. So it's just stunning. I definitely don't like my black smoky eyes to be completely matte. I always love to have a little bit of sparkle just to break up all the black. And this has the most gorgeous sparkles in it. And what I love about this shadow is you don't get any fallout. It's just so great. Next, you're gonna wanna take a fluffy brush and use a brown. So I'm gonna be using this brown here and this is from the NYX Avant Pop Palette. And this palette is called Surreal My Heart. And I'm just gonna take the brown onto this fluffy brush. And you want to tap it off because you don't want too much. And I'm going to go right into the crease with this. Next, I'm going to grab this matte black right here. Just a little tiny bit of it. I'm barely touching my brush onto the shadow. And I'm going to go back into the crease with this. And you really don't want to go anywhere above this area that I'm applying it to. You don't want that black to stray too far up or it'll look like you have a black eye. So just keep this as tight into the crease as you possibly can. So now I'm gonna pick up this really taupey brown on a really fluffy brush, and I'm gonna lightly place this over the eye look, right on the outer edge of all the shades. And this is gonna diffuse all of the black to blend it and make it look seamless. You really don't want any harsh lines when you're doing a look like this. Kinda of takes away from the really smoky, sultry effect. So blend as much as you need to and use lighter shades to blend colors together. So now I'm gonna take this white in the palette and I'm gonna use this as my highlight for my brow bone. And I'm just applying this right onto the brow bone and I'm bringing this down. And because this is reading off kind of gray, you can always go back in with your black and this is Eternal Black by L'Oreal. And I'm gonna apply it heavily onto the lid. So I'm just going back in and I'm packing this really heavily onto the lid because as we were blending, this color really got diffused. So I'm going back in with it and just applying this to the lid. So now we're gonna work on the lower lash line and I'm gonna take the e.l.f. liner and fill in my waterline with this. And I'm gonna do that to both eyes. And it's okay if you do get a little bit onto the lower lash line um, instead of the waterline because this is perfect for smudging it out. So I'm gonna go in with the dark brown first and then I'll build upon that with the darker shades. And I'm gonna smoke out this lower lash line. And as you mix this brown with the black, it really gives you a really nice shade. And now I'm going in with the black to smoke out that lower lash line. Now you just wanna go in with a blending brush and just blend that. And for the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use this infallible L'Oreal shadow in Iced Latte. And I'm gonna pop this right on the inner corner. I feel like this is way more intense than the brow bone highlight that I had on before, so I'm just gonna apply this to my brow bone. Now I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara. And what I really like about this mascara is the applicator it has. It's so nice for applying the lower lash mascara. It just really grabs the lashes so nicely and coats them. And the formula of the mascara is nice too because I don't feel like it's clumpy at all. So now I'm gonna pop on some false lashes and I'm using the Nicole Guerrero and Eyelure Collab. I love these so much and they're so pretty. They say that they're wispy and casually glamorous. 
So Eiler has a vlogger series and I had to run to the store and see if they had these, so I got both styles. But these ones are the wispy ones and I think they're so pretty. And just for reference, I did get these at Walgreens, but you can probably order them online too. And I didn't cut these, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them on because they look like they fit perfectly. These are really gorgeous, I love them. The perfect length, they're not too long and they're not too short. They look good because they're not overpowering with this eye makeup. And lastly, one of my pet peeves is when you can see your upper waterline when you have a smoky eye. So I'm gonna go in with this and fill that in. And this looks really scary, but it's not. <laughs> and just to blend your natural lashes with the false ones, I always like to go in with a little bit of mascara and just lightly touch the lashes. All right, and this is the finished drugstore eye look. All right, so now we are gonna contour and I'm gonna use my favorite contour and highlighting kit that I truly believe has ever hit the drugstore and this is the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm gonna be picking up this shade right here. This is a really cool tone color that you could use to contour. And I'm gonna start right at the front area of my ear and just kind of circle this downward. And I'm also gonna take a little bit more of that and apply it to the forehead. And this will make your forehead appear smaller. Sometimes mine looks really big, so I like to go in and kind of contour it a little bit. And you just want to apply it to the front area of your ear and just lightly bring it down. And now I'm just going to contour my nose using that same shade. Now I'm next going to take this shade right here in the palette. This is a very light, pale shade. I'm going to use this to blend everything. And you can take this shade and go over everywhere you contoured, and this will soften the color and just soften up the contour itself. I like to take this underneath my eyes to really brighten up that area and also my chin. So next I'm gonna be using a product that I really, really love for highlighting and this is the e.l.f. Facial Whip. And I'm gonna take this onto my fingertips. And you don't need a lot of this, but you need about, you need about this much. And I just like to warm it up in my fingertips first and get it nice and warm so it really applies really nicely and not patchy and I'm gonna lightly start applying this to the tops of my cheekbones. And this smells so good. It smells kind of like fruity or sweet. I just love the way it smells. This is probably one of the best cream highlights that you can get from the drugstore. I mean, if you just look at the difference, and it's a cream, and usually they're not this powerful, but like this one really is. So I'm gonna take this onto my nose too, and just all the high points of my face really. So now I'm gonna go over that cream highlight with a powder highlight, and this is the Wet n Wild I'll Have a Cosmo highlight. And this is like a really pretty pink shade, and I just, I love this. I love pink highlights because I feel like they make you look super glowy and healthy. And I'm just gonna apply this right over the top of that cream highlight. For blush, I'm gonna use the Infallible Pro Paint Blush Palette by L'Oreal, and this is a new product. I really, really like this, and I have been using it, and I think these blushes are really pretty. I'm gonna grab the more nude shade in the palette, and I'm gonna use this for my blush. And I'm just gonna pack this onto the apples of the cheeks and push it back. So for the last step of the face, I'm gonna bake underneath my blush, bronzer, and contour, and I'm gonna take the Cody Airspun powder we used under our eyes, and I'm just going to lightly, lightly, heavily, pack on this powder and kind of bring it up around my mouth area. I do have like smile lines in this area from my foundation creasing, so I always do this to keep that from happening. And this gives a really chiseled look. This is one of my favorite tricks to do, um, to give a really flawless chiseled look. And you can leave the beard on for about two minutes and then I would dust it away. So for lips, I'm gonna first line my lips with the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. And now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. lipstick in Party in the Buff. And this is like a really peachy nude. And now I'm gonna go over the top of the lipstick with the e.l.f. lip lacquer in Natural. And this is like a really pretty nude gloss. And now I'm gonna use one of my favorite setting mists from the drugstore, and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. And I've been through a couple of these, so this might be my third one. This is such a nice setting spray. I just love the way it kind of sprays your whole entire face. It doesn't just like squirt one side, and I hate, hate when I try setting sprays that just kind of get one side. This mists your whole face in just one spray. I like to go kind of crazy with it, so. 
And this will definitely prolong your makeup and it will stay on all day long. All right, beauties, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this smoky drugstore makeup. I think it's amazing, it's full coverage, and I loved all of these products, so I hope you guys did too. And please let me know by liking this video, commenting down below what you thought, and subscribe, share with friends, and don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in my next tutorial.